Hello and welcome to another update video about uh, Ethereum. So with Ethereum we try to now in this video uh, we try to understand how this wave pattern is going to work out most likely yeah what the wave count is in this wave C over wave 2. Did explain the wave pattern in the last video. My view is that from the most recent low here at 1195 we moved up in an impulse in a wave 1 to the upside which indicates that a, a, a more meaningful bottom could have been made here. It's not entirely clear yet. Yeah, we don't have really a breakout confirmation to the upside. We really only get that um, as soon as we break above the wave one high. Now, as you can spot here on this chart, we haven't done that. Um, therefore, things are still, you know, it could very well come down once more. But at the moment, um, we are still here on track. And as long as we stay above 1225, we can focus on higher. My current view is that this was a local low with a more meaningful bottom, right? That could already send us higher from here. Um, moving up in a wave one, yeah, and coming down in a wave two. And the wave two consists of A, B, C. And we're now trying to understand how this C wave could be um, made up, right? To understand how low could we really go. So I've defined here this target area between 1225 and 1267, in which we could really come in this wave C. I think the chances are quite good. Um, as we didn't hold this one, yeah, this was the condition to hold this orange box was the condition for a, a smaller one, two, one, two setup. Now, this is still possible, but getting now very unlikely with the latest drop. So, I'm going to take that out. Yeah, um, it is still though possible that this is just a stretched out wave two, which would be the bullish interpretation. There's, of course, also a bearish interpretation that will become more meaningful if we drop below 1225 because below 1225. Um, the one two setup, which would be the bullish breakout setup, which would be followed by a wave three to the upside and uh, uh, you know a break of the 1340 level here. Um, this is only really valid until you drop below 1195. Now, the drop below 1195 is obviously a bit late because then you've made a new low already, but as soon as we get below 1225, that will massively increase the risk of invalidation. So if we go below 1225, my view is that we're also going to lose the 1195 level. That's why this target area is defined as it is. And I also don't think we're already going to rally when we hit here this support level at 1267. There will probably be a reaction. That's the previous low here from the 15th of October. But we, based on the wave count, it doesn't suggest that this should end the wave C. It's technically possible, but unlikely. My main view or my primary expectation would be that this move, and I'm going to change the wave degree in a minute, was, oh, let me just change that, that from the high here, yeah, we came down in a one, two, three, a four as a triangle, and we came down in a five. Yeah, so this is sort of the lower level, again, micro count here. So five waves down, yeah, this would, B though, a wave one in itself, then this year a wave two, and we're now heading down in three, there'll be a four and a five. So you can already see it will get tight with, with 1225, right? It will get tight. So let me just change that to here, okay. So it will get tight, why? Because we can measure the target for the third wave. Um, so we take the length of wave one, circle wave one, move up to the high, of wave two so and it actually takes us to first target would be the one to one ratio here at 1245 the 1.236 extension is 1229 and the 1.618 extension would take us to 1204 so you know it's getting it's getting difficult because normally the wave three you would normally expect the 1.618 extension at 1204 but it doesn't need to be a long wave three you know this could eventually unfold as some kind of a diagonal pattern. But the point here that I try to make, yeah, the extensions, they suggest a stronger move down, but what's very important is to understand that from a retracement point of view, the 1225 level is key support. If we do go below that, then I would be in favor of a new low. And then this one two pattern would be replaced by something more bearish. Not necessarily super bearish, but it would just mean we'll make one more low below 11.95. We would still be in the higher level bullish pattern where I expect a breakout here at some point above $1,400, yeah, without breaking the low uh, that we made in June, the 8.80 level, <clears throat> yeah. So 
when could I be more optimistic that the move to the upside has already started? So I think from my point of view, a really good signal would be already a break above this 1310 level. Yeah, if a low has been made already, then a break above 1310 would confirm that. Then we might not see this pattern work out to the downside, then we have already made five waves down, that's it. But this has become very unlikely with the latest drop here to 1274 today. Yeah, so again, I'm rather focused here short term, a little bit more on the downside and uh, keep you updated, of course. All right, and that's my update about Ethereum. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. Please also make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. There's additional content on there that you won't find um, on YouTube. And um, yeah, also check out the channel membership. Here we can, uh, you know, you can get access to the Telegram live chat, Discord server, weekly live stream on Sunday where we talk about how to deal with FOMO and my live charts and all sorts of additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.